Zoom is coming under a lot of scrutiny after several reports have been released that the video conferencing app includes security flaws, making it vulnerable to attacks. And this comes just days after bad press of the other popular video chatting app, House Party, where the users started blaming the app for accounts being hacked after they downloaded the app. Zoom has become a massive success of late due to an increase of remote working and learning after non-essential businesses and schools were shut. But more and more stories are hitting the headlines of Zoom bombing, security flaws and hacking. Zoom was hit by security concerns last year when it emerged that a major vulnerability in its app allowed people to be spied on through their webcam. Experts at the time criticised the company for being slow to close that security hole, which allowed users on Macs to be watched through their webcam. And a class action lawsuit has been filed in the US regarding Zoom sharing of data with Facebook. And Zoom has also confirmed that despite marketing material to suggest otherwise, its video streaming is not end-to-end -end encrypted. And now, Zoom is being investigated by the FBI after quarantine workers' virtual conferences are being hacked with porn. The investigation comes after FBI Boston's office warned on Monday that it received multiple reports of conferences being disrupted by pornographic and or hate images and threatening language. The FBI listed two examples where hackers had Zoom bombed schools which have been closed due to the deadly virus and which are now teaching classes online. A Massachusetts high school reported that an unidentified individual dialed into the virtual classroom and yelled a profanity at the teacher before shouting the teacher's home address. And another school in the same state reported the appearance of an unknown person with SWAT sticker tattoos. Using the hashtag ZoomBombed, social media users have testified they suddenly saw pornographic or racist images on their screens whilst using the app. And now cybersecurity experts are also warning about a security flaw that allows hackers to collect email account passwords by clicking a link sent over in the web chat. The vulnerability puts those using Windows versions of Zoom at risk of inadvertently handing over access to their Microsoft Outlook inbox or SharePoint document storage system. And it was confirmed that the Windows version was used for the cabinet meeting on Tuesday after Boris Johnson posted a photo of the Zoom meeting on Twitter showing that the digital cabinet is using the Microsoft client version of Zoom and also including ID numbers and names of all the participants. An attacker could seek to exploit the participants of a meeting they join to gain unauthorized access to services such as Outlook Webmail, Microsoft SharePoint and others just by clicking on such a link. So in light of all the ways that hackers can enter your meetings, how can you protect your data in Zoom? Well, if the host of a Zoom meeting does not secure the meeting with a password, anyone using the link can enter the stream and send the link to its participants. So if you want to enable a password on every single one of your meetings, what you can do is head over to my account, go down to your personal settings, and then if you scroll down, you'll see you have several options around passwords, whether or not you want to require a password when scheduling new meetings, require passwords for instant meetings, also for personal meetings, and people joining by phone. And you can also disable file transfers. You can switch screen sharing to host only to prevent the sharing of unpleasant images and videos. And you can disable allow remove participants to rejoin. And as I said, all of these settings can be found under settings and then if you look under meeting. Or if you prefer just to delete your account, you can go across to your account profile, which can be found under account management. And then you can choose to terminate your account. Also, one of the best ways to protect your online privacy is creating unique passwords for each account. I understand trying to remember all these individual passwords can be tricky without again compromising your security. So one way to get around this is by using a password manager such as LastPass. This is something that I personally use and I've created a video tutorial around this. But basically with LastPass, you can generate strong, secure passwords for every account that you use. And best of all is the fact that they are all stored for you without you needing to remember them all. And other best security practices are to turn on two-factor authentication for any applications or accounts that support it. This could be the likes of a text alert or using an app such as Google Authenticator to provide you with a one-time code. It's also worth double checking the settings in your apps to check what information you're sharing with it and so that you can decide on how open you want to be with it. So whether you're using Zoom, House Party, or one of the many video chatting apps available right now, 
please just ensure that you follow best practices to protect your data from exposure wherever possible. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.